sa paggunita ng ikalimang daang taong anibersaryo ng Kristyanismo sa Pilipinas, ang pambansang dambana ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay naitalaga bilang isa sa mga Jubilee Churches, Simbang Hubileo, kung saan may Porta Santa o Jubilee Door. Sa mga makikibahagi ay ipagkakaloob ang plenary indulgence na ikinawad ni Papa Francisco. Ito ay natatanging biyaya ng pagpapatawad sa kaparusahan mula sa mga kasalanan. Kalapit nito ay ang pagsasagawa ng mga sumusunod. Ang pangungpisal, ang pagtanggap ng banal na Eucharistia, at ang pagdarasal para sa Santo Papa. Ipanalangin din ang katapatan ng mga Pilipino bilang mananampalataya Pagdami ng may bukason sa pagpapari, hermano at madre, pagtataguyod ng pamilya. Magtapos sa ama namin, sumasampalataya at pagtawag kay Inay Maria. Sa pagpasok natin ng Porta Santa, alalahanin at isapuso din natin ang hamon na maging masigasig na tagapagpalaganap ng Ebanghelyo. Ibahagi natin ang piyaya ng pananampalatayang ating natanggap bilang mga misunero, misunera ng nakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Bartholomew, we are called by God to go back to our own personal encounter with Him and be able to encounter Him in our brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need. My dear brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me saying, Come here. I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. 
He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleams me with gleams with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which name were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make Let all your words give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might, and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glory splendor of your kingdom. Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, 
Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I remember one of an old encounter with an old holy Benedictine monk, which he said to me when I was still a poor man in the Benedictines, sometimes in our lives, we only have to go back to our original God experience, our first encounter that God really had able to move us. If we are able to be rooted on it, then any encounter, any experiences would always make us realize on how God is always working in us. Today, my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the Peace of St. Bartholomew, we are called or recalled back to the story of Nathaniel on his encounter with Christ, on that first encounter where he realized that Jesus was really the Messiah. And believing in that encounter, where it paved way that he became also one of his apostles, that through traditions he was called to be the apostle to India, but into which also to remember also that each of us has certain encounters in our lives. Each encounter with God reminds us of our own personal encounter with him in our brothers and sisters, especially those who are in need that each encounter in our lives, in each person that we meet and greet and able to be encountered with, we are able to solely see the image of God. And for us also to be challenged that in each encounter of every person in our lives, they will be able to feel how we are able to give witness to God's promises in our own lives. Yes, each encounter becomes greater or each encounter becomes a miracle when we believe that each encounter we have every day would be able to lead us to our relationship with God. And in that relationship, if we are able to be rooted in each encounter, any challenges that comes in our ways becomes only light. Remembering also that when Philip told Nathaniel to go and see Jesus, for he himself could see what Jesus is offering to them. Nathaniel, able to be having seen and encountered Jesus, also been made pure of his intentions of following God. It also paved way for him to be able to encounter more of Jesus in the daily experiences in his life that he was able to become apostle to India himself, and even in tradition was played alive, to also be martyred for the faith. Yes, in our modern times, we are always be encountering Christ in the different places, the poor, the needy, our brothers and sisters, in each spaces in society. And each encounter reminds us to discern, look back, and able to see how God is able to work in us and work in our brothers and sisters. As we continue and in this celebration, we continue looking back on our own personal encounter, our own God experience, that through probably this pandemic event, that God experience would be enough for us to have hope and for us to move also with our faith to be able to do our best in our own social responsibility for one another. As we honor the apostle who was a man incapable of deceit, let us come confidently to the Father, opening our hearts in prayer. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be open to the working of the Spirit, especially in the movements which enrich the faith of God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may deserve their honor and dignity by your honest and exemplary performance in office. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, may we never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the frontliners, may God embrace and protect them as they continue their loving service, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who offered Masses to be celebrated in the National Shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Help, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as these prayers come before you with the help of St. Bartholomew, Teach us to care for others and to trust in your providence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, and in his honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, you do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, up your sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave it the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inherit inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Bartholomew, and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to be confirmed in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and that our people have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Copernicus, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may be also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body to our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when we will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we must be free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Have our those go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Ratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Palunzon, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, pray for us. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may help of us both now and for the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.